data mining, the uncovering of information earlier than intended by snooping around game files, has become a huge topic with Battlefield 5. Now, in mid-2020, Battlefield 5 support is being halted. The last standalone update is coming in June. With that update, we're told to expect new content, weapons and activities, but nothing concrete has really been identified yet. And there's a lot that could be on the way with that update, but equally, there's a lot that could be lost forever in the files after this update. In this video, I'm going to highlight just some of the currently unreleased content that Battlefield 5 has, and we're going to go through weapons and gadgets. So sit back, get yourself a nice cup of tea, because this will be a rather long video. Also, if you like my Battlefield content here on the channel and you're not subscribed at the moment, then please do consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my coverage of the last few months of Battlefield 5. Okay then, here we go. This list has been compiled across the entire life cycle of Battlefield 5, and it was made to track content that was mentioned or seen in official marketing material, found in the files via data mining, or simply mentioned or referred to in the files without a, a physical object. The list has been compiled by Collars, a Battlefield community member. Starting things off, we have the Lanchester SMG. In real life, this weapon is a straight-up copy of the German MP28 made by the British, and perhaps it's for this reason that DICE opted not to add it into Battlefield 5 because it would have been balanced so similarly. However, it could have made for a really nice asymmetric weapon option, even if it were only a cosmetic difference between it and the MP28, perhaps letting the British faction use it and the Germans use the MP28. That might have been interesting. Within Battlefield 5, it is complete with an 8-node specialisation setup. The weapon appears ready to be added, but it's sitting in the file still. The PPK pistol is next. This was present in the data files way back when, and it was also found in a render on an ArtStation account for one of the DICE developers. At the moment, it appears to have the same statistics as the Ruby pistol, so again, because it's very close to another weapon like the Lanchester, this might be the reason that DICE hasn't added it to the game. Next we have the Shoshar light machine gun. This has become a particularly popular meme with the Battlefield 5 community. It's regularly referenced when talking about content that's ready for the game, but hasn't been released yet. The Shoshar features in the Tireur War Story, but it's been glitched into multiplayer on multiple occasions. It has active assignments within the game, and it features a complete specialisation tree, so... There's not really a solid reason that this weapon hasn't been added into Battlefield 5. Perhaps the lack of a French army in the game might be the reason, but if you apply that logic, half the weapons in the game shouldn't be there, because the army that use those weapons aren't in the game. The M1917 Enfield, the American Enfield, that's another weapon that is still in the files and hasn't been released, this was first uncovered back in November 2018 as part of a data mine, and is basically ready to go. Assignment tags are ready and made, it features a slightly older 9 option specialisation tree, and it featured in some promo art for different bundles that you could get for the game. It still hasn't arrived in Battlefield 5, and Actually, at the moment, it would be a really good addition because there is no American bolt-action rifle for the American forces fighting in the Pacific content. The Patchet SMG is next, a British weapon. This one also uses a 9-node specialisation system, an older system, and it suggests that it was actually geared for gameplay prior to the beta of Battlefield 5. And that could mean that DICE had this thing ready and working well before the launch, which would be a little bit of a shame. Once again, we have dog tags in the files for this weapon, meaning there was, at some point, some kind of emphasis on getting this live in the game. Then there's the Shogren shotgun. This one featured in the This Is Battlefield 5 trailer before the launch on the Narvik map in a small section of gameplay, so there was clearly intent to have this weapon in the game. Considering it was a weapon featured in Battlefield 1, along with the Ribe Roll's assault rifle, I assumed that it would arrive when that weapon did, which was a Christmas 2018 drop, but the Shogren didn't. It's still not in the game. The rumour is that the weapon was later earmarked for the now cancelled 5v5 game mode, and subsequently it wasn't added to standard multiplayer. 
This one is a particularly strong example of marketing using items that were never released into the game, and so it's quite a sore spot for lots of players of Battlefield 5. The Well Gun is next. This, like the Enfield Rifle and the Patcher SMG, it features a 9 item specialization system, suggesting it was ready for gameplay before the beta arrived, and then the beta only gave us the two branches of four options each, so it's using that older system. This one was also featured on an ArtStation account before it got pulled down. And then we have the Wellrod Pistol. This featured prominently in the Chapter 4 trailer within the 5v5 section, which was then cancelled. DICE later revealed that many of those weapons that were built for 5v5 and featured in the Chapter 4 trailer, they would be converted into weapons that could work in standard multiplayer, because for some reason DICE decided to build and structure weapons differently between the two sections which is a massive oversight in my opinion, and another example of how poorly managed Battlefield 5 was. To this day, the Wellrod Pistol, a very unique and rather odd weapon, hasn't been added to Battlefield 5's multiplayer section, and the trailer advertising it was released almost a year ago. So those weapons were either in a near-finish state or were finished and just hadn't been put into the multiplayer, these next set of weapons, they are perhaps less likely to appear in the game due to their development state, with areas of them not working correctly or things not being quite finished. That said, they are still in the files here, or they were in the files and have now been removed, so we can assume the plan was at some point for these weapons to also become part of Battlefield 5. The first weapon here is the LAD LMG, which is a weapon that I featured very recently on my channel as a hint towards what I thought was the direction that Battlefield 5 might have been going in. The LAD is a Soviet weapon, and uh, I guess we know how that all turned out. This weapon had been in the files for some time and may at one point have been part of the 5v5 competitive mode, although that is not 100% clear. And as it stands now, the weapon animations, they lack a little bit of polish, and the LAD borrows recoil animations from the MG34, but it works for the most part, it's just not quite finished. Then there's the Astra 903 machine pistol. This was in the files and was part of a larger group of other machine pistols that I'll talk about later on, but this weapon is still there in the files, but it has been completely scrapped to our knowledge. The whole collection of machine pistols, weapons that could have been added to multiplayer as another choice for every player of Battlefield 5, all of those, apart from the Astra 903, are completely gone. They don't exist anymore. The Swiss K3143 rifle, this weapon was set to become part of the 5v5 mode, but with that since cancelled, there was a chance that this could have come to the standard multiplayer. The weapon has a built-in function to switch from an integrated scope, I think it's a 3 times optic, to iron sights, but that doesn't quite work properly at the moment and there's some weird offsetting that happens, and it seems to have been in that position for a while, so if DICE could fix this, it might come out in the June update, but it's not a likely candidate in my opinion. Then we've got the M1941 Johnson Rifle, one of the more recent discoveries from Battlefield 5's files. This weapon has been seen in gameplay posted by data miners, and it may well have been considered for addition into the Pacific bracket of content as a competitor to the M1 Garand. As it stands, the weapon does function, but reload animations aren't working correctly, and the ADS view is not quite correct either. Then there's the mysterious M3 IR Sniper Carbine. This weapon is a conversion of an M2 Carbine, fitted with a primitive infrared scope for seeing in darker environments. This is a weapon that's been found in the files by its specialization tree, but no model has shown up, and we believe that there are dog tags for this weapon as well, so it must be in a near finish state, but no one can find it in the files. Then there's the Remington Model 81 Special Police, which is a newer model of the Model 8 that is already in Battlefield 5, and apparently this showed up in some armoury images a while back. I don't remember seeing it, but it is on the tracker here. That might have well just been a Model 8 with a skin that showed an extended magazine, because Battlefield 5 does do that. Depending on what weapon skin you have, it does change some of the parts on the weapon, but not the statistics of the weapon. 
which is actually another gripe that I have with Battlefield 5 when it first came out. So this might be a weapon that we've seen, but it also might not be. It might just be a variant of the Model A. Then there's the MP41 submachine gun. Again, it showed up in armory images, but it's never been seen again. The From a Stop Auto, one of the machine pistols, now completely scrapped. This might well have just been an asset that was left over from Battlefield 1. And the same can almost be said for the M1912 P16, another machine pistol. This was part of the Turning Tides DLC for Battlefield 1, but it could be spawned into Battlefield 5, but this one was lacking fire animations. And then going beyond even that group of weapons where there was evidence of them in the files or working at some point that they've now been removed or they're still there and they're broken, there is another group of weapons that are simply mentioned in the files, in passing or in reference to other weapons. First of all, the Colt Monitor Machine Rifle. This is referenced in the files due to its muzzle being included on several other weapons in the game as part of weapon skins. The Colt Monitor was just essentially an improved version of the BAR, so there was no sense in adding it to the game because we've got the BAR already, but it's referenced because of that muzzle being included. Then there's the FM2429, which is a French light machine gun that became standard issue from 1925 into the 1960s. The reason this weapon is mentioned is due to its flash hider being on several other weapons via weapon skins. The M1 Thompson, that's also mentioned in the files. The iron sights on the M1928 Thompson, that's already in the game, they actually belong to the M1 as designated in the files. Then there's the M50 Rising, which is a submachine gun, another weapon reference due to the inclusion of a muzzle piece on several other weapons. The Mosin M39 Carbine, this was referenced in the files towards the RMN50 Grenade Launcher, which is a gadget that I'll talk about in a minute. The M1903 Springfield, references to this weapon were found in the files, but also dog tags were found for this too. The Type 44 Arisaka Carbine, a Japanese weapon, might have been considered as a competitor to the Jungle Carbine, which is a medic weapon, and also dog tags were found for this weapon. And then there's the PTRD-41. This is referenced because its muzzle brake has been spotted on plenty of weapons. So that was all the weapons, but of course now we have gadgets to discuss as well, and there are plenty of those, so we'll get started. The RMN-50 Grenade Launcher, I'll talk about that one because I just mentioned it. This was in the data browser for a long time, and it was rumoured to be part of the 5v5 mode, and then thought it was to be on its way into the standard multiplayer when a Russian expansion was announced. Oopsie. The Doppelschuss, a double barrel flare pistol, this was planned to be added to chapter 6 as part of a patch for the second half of the chapter, but it was bugged and DICE pushed it back. Now as I understand it, the plan is still to release this into the game at some point, but now with the game having its support ended as of June, I'm not sure if that's the case anymore and nobody's really said anything yet. This might be one of the strongest candidates for content that's coming in the June update. The Shaped Charge is another gadget that could conceivably still be added to multiplayer. It was another item featured in an accidental art station leak, and it was stated to be added to the game by now ex-DICE developer David Serland. It was also used in the single player as well, it was in the Under No Flag war story. Next, the Flamethrower Pistol. This has been in the data browser since launch, and I think you can use it on the Under No Flag War Story as well. I think you have to go and find it. It's also been spotted on ArtStation when it was accidentally leaked. Then there's the Kampf Pistol, speculated to be the high explosive variant of the Grenade Pistol from the support class. It currently works, but the projectiles don't have any textures. The iconic Panzerschreck, the German launcher. This is currently spawnable in-game, but it isn't working as intended, with the shells being loaded in, invisible in the player's hand. Then there's the Garot Wire. This was featured in the reveal trailer for Battlefield 5, making it probably one of the worst offending omissions in the game. It's been assumed that this has been scrapped, but in recent patches it did get some mesh updates, despite the animations still not really working properly. 
Then there's the knee mortar, a potential gadget for the Pacific expansion. The animations aren't properly rigged, but it can be used as a spawnable gadget. The Bangalore torpedo, this was perhaps referencing a Normandy beach landing in the future of Battlefield 5, but it never featured as a proper asset. The Type 99 magnetic mine, a Japanese mine, references to this were found in the files, but there's no model or assets here. Barbed wire emplacements. This was thought to be a 5v5 gadget option where a player could put down the barbed wire in a certain location and then block a path. That was scrapped in the Battlefest patch last year. The breaching charge, which was supposedly just a copy of Battlefield 1's limpet mine, that was also scrapped in the same Battlefest patch. The Goliath mine, which was this huge remote controlled tank that could be driven up towards armor and then detonated. This was also considered for the 5v5 mode and has since been scrapped. The Hawkins grenade, this works and can be spawned in, but it swaps out to an M24 grenade model when it's thrown. And lastly, the portable machine gun turret, another element of the 5v5 mode that was cancelled. Now, that's still a huge amount of content that is within Battlefield 5's file system somewhere in various different forms. If anything, at best, this revelation of content via data mines has proven that DICE did have a lot of plans to continue support for Battlefield 5 before this overall cancellation of support as of June. And the amount of content there would have been great, probably, for a couple of more chapters. And then at worst, this data mining has shown how badly DICE protected themselves against the leaks of their unreleased content. Data mining has become commonplace around Battlefield 5, not for any malicious reasons I don't think, but because there was just a huge lack of communication and announcements for the live service, so the community just started doing things for themselves. And because at several points during the live service support, there were extended periods of little to no content actually being released for the game. I think DICE can learn a lot from Battlefield 5, and there are many other things besides unreleased content that DICE can learn from, but perhaps something that they need to do for Battlefield 6 is to put up better measures to stop content leaking early, if they want to keep control of the situation around their game. But thanks very much for watching today guys, leave any thoughts or opinions that you might have down below in the comments section and leave me a rating as well, it is always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.